This is a very strange time for us all because not only is Mercury still retrograde, it's just in its final days, but also more and more we're being influenced by Mars. And it's not generally known that having our wonderful remote vehicle called Curiosity on Mars at the moment. Curiosity is proving to be a link between the energies of Mars and the energies upon the Earth plane, your energy and mine. And so for the first time, for a very, very long time, we are being impacted directly by the energy of Mars. And with Mercury still being retrograde, it's moving out of that state of being, but it's still just in, the, in retrograde. We have a combination of Mercury providing confusion and miscommunications and misunderstandings. And because Mercury is in the sign of Leo, very much governed by Leo, as it is in its retrograde stage, it's meaning that the energy of Leo, the power, the dominance, the competitiveness, the ruthlessness, the authority of Leo through Mercury is also influencing us. So we have the Martian energies, which are very strong, very powerful also, which can be aggressive and belligerent and be ruthless also. Combining with the last of the energies of this retrograde Mercury. And so it's, again, it's not surprising that um, for some people they're finding, they're getting all sorts of emotional reactions coming through. Frustration, irritation, perhaps some anger. And uh, emotions they probably haven't felt for a very long time and they don't quite know where they've come from. And if that's you, if suddenly you are feeling great surges of emotion, or you wake up feeling very dissatisfied and disgruntled and unhappy one day, just remember, it could be the Martian energy, and it could be that plus the energy of Mercury retrograde. And I don't believe in coincidences, and so it's so interesting that these Olympics are taking place against the backdrop, both of this Martian energy coming to our lands, our world, and also Mercury retrograde. Because the Olympics, of course, are all about competitiveness, about pride, about domination of the medals table, which is a reflection, perhaps, of what's happening energetically. So there's all sorts of stuff going on in the world, isn't there? And if you just remember that even though there is lots of stuff, in fact, that stuff is going to pass. And we will have cycles of peace and quiet and serenity, but also we will increasingly have cycles where things just don't seem quite right or we just don't see, feel quite right. But it's all part of earth change, which is taking us to the next phase of the planet Earth's beingness and your beingness, talking about the transition for all of us and the introduction of the new consciousness. So in the end, even if we are talking about Leo and Mercury and Mars, it's all good news. Thank you for listening.